So you have a cold plunge and it looks like a deep freezer. So how about we make it look like this? Stay tuned and watch to see how I did it. All right, my fellow cold plungers, most of us have one of these in our garage um, or in our backyard. And they're not the most attractive, but if you're plunging, this is what you settle for if you don't have $5,000 for the nice expensive one. So I'm gonna pimp this one out, make it look nicer. This is my home, my home gym. And uh, that deep freezer is not the best looking thing. So I am going to show you how I'm gonna change that into, into this. And go ahead and subscribe while you're watching. Let's measure this bad boy. We're looking at 27 and three quarters with the height. We at, uh, are at 34 and a half. And the length of this one is roughly about 55 and three quarters. We're gonna round it off to 56. Here I'm sanding down the planks using 60 grit sandpaper. And here I'm cutting the two by fours at 34 and a half inches. And I only need five of them. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am going to put a two by four to the height of the very top and another two by four over here on the back side, and I'm gonna have the cedar planks going horizontal, but I need to know how the length of it. So what I'm doing here is I wanna see what the length of it is here. So I'm gonna cut it at 30 inches. It'll overhang just a little bit in the back, and that should be perfect. I'm gonna build the sides first, and then attach the front. So you need, in my situation, five, two by fours and I use two by fours instead of the one by threes or one by fours because it's a little he more heavy duty that way it can uh, balance itself so here we go so here I'm just cutting the planks to 30 inches so all I did here was line up the planks that were cut at 30 inches on top of the two by fours and I'm gonna put two screws on each plank on both sides. And I'm gonna make two of these, one for each side of the plunge. So here I'm screwing down the planks to the two by fours. And so you don't split the wood, you should pre-drill, which I didn't do, and I did split a couple boards. And here's the second one, doing the same thing. All right, so we're gonna have one more two by four here. I cut it all the, all the way up to here, but I messed up. So I'm gonna just take a little bit off just so I have access to the handle. And this is gonna overhang just the width of the other two by four. So the planks will go this way and drill into this. So I'm gonna have to cut a piece the long planks will be sixty and an eighth, roughly. I could do sixty and a quarter. Be sixty inches and a quarter, and I'm gonna need six of them. All right, so here I'm just cutting the boards in the front. Pretty easy, pretty simple, and I'm just putting them on all right so here we got the most of it done pretty simple straightforward one two by four one two by four 
two by four here. You don't even need this one, but it just gives it a little more support. Two by four, two by four. So just five two by fours. And uh, it ended up being six planks this way. And then six on each side. So I only needed 12 to do the bottom half. So now I'm gonna need five more planks to do the top. And I gotta put a lid on here from here to here. 30 and a half inches. Okay. And it's gonna sit on here perfect. We're going six and a quarter, 60 and a quarter. All right, here's a recap of what I've done so far. It's This is the main part. This is super easy. Uh, you can do it really quick. Um, those are just two by fours. There's only five total. This is how it looks from the inside. Give you a second to check it out. So all I did was measure up to the height of the unit. And then I screwed the planks to the two by fours. So I did the side first and then I did the opposite side. And in the middle, I just did one two by four and put the planks to it, but these planks screwed into this one. It's still very light. You can really, you can move this. This is super light, but it's still really sturdy. So it's not gonna fall. And uh, I had to do the cutout for the vent. Obviously this thing is gonna be working and we need that uh, motor to be able to exhaust. So this is it so far, just to recap, just a better view of it. It's flush and then the lid goes on top. Three, these are the main ones, but I had to do an extra one because I'm gonna have to cut these boards on. They're gonna be floating, so yeah. So let's put these bad boys on. I'm gonna say it weighs no more than eight, nine pounds. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy. This is how the bottom looks. So I left a little, I put those two slits so that the little small piece can uh, attach to it. And it still has a enough space for the, the tube from the ozone generator. Hope this helped. Super easy. I'll put all the description, everything in the description. Um, it took me about less than two hours to do it. It's actually pretty easy. Super light. If I wanted to just take this lid off and then pull this out, it's uh, it would be pretty easy. So, all right, looking better. Hundred bucks. We'll get you that situation. All right, here what I'm doing is I'm staining it, and this is actually gonna cost a, another lot, 15 bucks. So, your look, this will get you at $100 even if you uh, if you stain it. But if you don't, you're still under 100 bucks. But it does look really, really nice. Really, really nice. There it is, fully stained. All right, there it is. It's all complete. Go ahead and hit the like button if you like the video. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some other cool um, videos on some handstands, some mountain biking, just a bunch of fitness stuff. And I will be making a part two to this on how to add the hinges so that you can um, just open it up without taking the lid off. And building some stairs. 
to match, make it look extra nice.